Hi guys, so what we're going to make today is a Peking duck. So I've got a beautiful whole Gressingham duck here and in a large saucepan all there is is 1.2 litres of water and 150 ml of Chinese black rice vinegar. So I've just brought that to the boil and then all I have to do is just go over the duck on the outside of the skin just like it's having a little bath. So I'm just going to ladle it over a few times to get the back done. You want to make sure all of the skin has been covered. So we're just going to go there from the top. Lovely. And then back round again, give it another go. That's lovely. Just make sure it's all covered. So you just want to do this two or three times just so it's totally been covered in the hot water and vinegar mix. But you don't throw this mix away because we're going to use this tomorrow. So all that happens now with this duck, I've put a hook in the neck end. If I just dunk that down, you can hopefully you can see. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just hang it in a cold place or a cool place. So I'm actually going to hang it in my shed overnight, just until the skin is thoroughly dried through. So our duck has been chilling out in the shed overnight and it's now nice and dry to the touch. So all we've got in here is we've got yesterday's black rice wine vinegar with the water, which is what we used to bathe the duck in. And all we've added is three tablespoons of honey and three tablespoons of dark soy sauce. And we're just going to bring this up to the boil. Now this kind of looks really time consuming, but actually it isn't because the majority of time really is the duck just chilling out. The actual hands-on time is quite minimal, but it, it really is worth, worth the effort. Um, and if you haven't got a cool place, I mean, it was very cold last night, so this was ideal to be hanging in the shed. But if you haven't got a cool place, then you could always put a fan in front of it and that would do the same thing. So this is very nearly up to the boil now. So all we're going to do is the same as yesterday. We're just going to give it a nice bath in the hot liquid all over its skin. This really is so worth doing. So you want to try and make sure you've got all of the skin covered. Do it two or three times. back round to the front again so once we've done this we're going to put it back hanging up for two to three hours and then the skin should be completely dried and to have the texture of like parchment paper so that's it that's a nice covering so there we go, now it's going for another chill out for two to three hours. So this has now been hanging for three hours and it's very dry now. It feels like parchment paper, so it's dry all over. So all we do now is in a bowl, I've got one and a half tablespoons of coarse sea salt, two and a half tablespoons of Chinese five spice and two tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns that I've roasted and ground down. And what we do now is we just evenly rub this all on the inside, getting all the way in and down into the cavity and just give it a rub in. Let's put some on the top. So as I said before, you know, the actual hands-on time is not an awful lot. The majority of the time is hanging the duck and just those two bastings. That's nice. Well, I'm going to use all of this because it all adds to the flavour. So now we're just going to give this a lovely rub all the way around. Lovely. Perfect. So all that happens now, I'm just going to wash my hands. So 
So all that I do now is I'm going to preheat the oven to 240 degrees Celsius and what we do is we just cook that for 15 minutes and then we reduce the temperature to 180 and roast it for the remaining hour and 10 minutes. So all I do is I'm going to put it onto a rack above a baking tray. I'm going to pour 150 ml to 200 ml of water into the pan while it's roasting. That just helps with the, the fat that comes out of the duck. It doesn't spatter all over your oven. So there you go. That's it, roast it, ready to go and ready to pop in the oven for a lovely roasting.